y'all uh, y'all know those Troy Mares coming out soon? Yeah. They're gonna be interesting. So what's up guys? Fat Lord Cole Forty here. <sighs> Just getting some dinner tonight and I wanted to talk about the release of Troy Mares into the game and what it means to uh, I guess the competitive scene. Now, the first thing I, I gotta tell you all, pr producing a line of monsters like the Troy Mares or whatever their official English name is going to be um, was pretty ridiculous. And I, I haven't read all of them yet. The, for, for the one person in the comments, I'm going to be like, well, if you haven't read them all, what makes you qualified to talk about them? Well, we've I've been watching Bar mess around with the Goki combo deck. And if you don't know what the Goki combo deck is, well, you're living under a rock. Um, I've been explicitly talking on Market Watch every fucking week, uh, warning people, hey, you know, like, you might want to consider picking up Goki stuff now, because and someone's also going to be like, well, Robbie, you've literally never mentioned Goki. Well, yeah, I have. I've also been on the Ultra Guys train along before it. Same thing with Gokis at the end of the day. And here's the thing. The Goki engine is self-replacing. And when you have a monster like Firewall Dragon... Um, that allows you to continuously normal some or beam out these additional monsters. Um, Gokis are all self-replacing, which is actually amazing. And 95% of the two-card combos usually start with a soul day involving some sort of dumping. And then you know, you know what the extra equip cards that go back to your hand like Divine Sword Phoenix Blade do? They're discard fodder for later on down the line. Now... All of the Troy Mares have some sort of co-linked extra effect, um, which is beautiful. Um, but at the end of the day, it, you've released a generic set of monsters, Kanani. And these generic monsters, they're broken. Actually, it's, it's ridiculous. All I know is one of them has the ability to bounce said monsters... Another one has the ability to set a fucking trap card. Uh, do you know how many, like, times I've seen, like... I've watched OCG combo videos for this. I love the fact that I always see Vanity's Emptiness at the end of the combo. It's like, ha not only are you extra linked, ha there's a Vanity's Emptiness on my field. You know, you know what we can't do in the TCG? <laughs> set Vanity's Emptiness, but that's fine. The point of this video is... Not only to make you aware that what is coming in the future with Ibli and the rest of the Troy Mares. Oh, yeah, don't, don't even get me started on Ibli. The fact that I can spousal summon her to my opponent's field at, and just be like, oh, by the way, haha, you, you're under a restriction now. And that restriction is, it, it's, it's free. Like, they, they give Troy Mare an additional normal summon capacity to extend out these extra link combos. And to top things off, they're all basically generic. You just most of them all have to be like, oh hey, different monster or different monster is not the same name, blah 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 blah. Like why did you make them so easy to be summoned? If you've looked at any deck from the OCG as of late, you will you'll see a very scary trend amongst all those decks. And it is it is the fact that the Troy Mares are so staple across the entire metagame and that's one of the things I'm worried about here Konami has manufactured this quote unquote staple extra deck monster and I don't think the TCG is I don't think the TCG was ready for the flood that's coming, no pun intended on the name of the set but when you look at how it's going X generic monsters uh, that are like monsters being produced and to top things off you know, hey, at the end of the day, it, it, I don't know. I, I'm happy to see more staple extra deck monsters. I, I really am. That, that's that's fine and dandy by me. But let's be real here. Producing an entire archetype of them to be staple, that was that was pretty ballsy. I'll be honest with you. Uh, just, just good good job, Konami. You you did something that I don't think was going to happen anytime soon. But you proved me wrong. You you did it. And that's... It's not a bad thing, but... Ugh. 
staples are expensive for this reason, and God knows Griffin's gonna be a secret. So I, I do like, oh, well, I do want to shift gears here. <laughs> Ugh. I do like the the fact that they produced a exclusive archetype of Link monsters. What annoys me about said archetype of Link monsters is they're generic, and the reason that this actually kind of irritates me a little bit is the price tag that comes with these especially something as good as griffin that it's not going to be a griffin himself won't be a staple but everything rotating around him whether or not you're deciding to play phoenix or the unicorn there imagine if konami produced all of them a secret rare i i don't think that will be the case but see it this way if they produced five Link monsters that all had the massive potential to be staple. Oh, look, Borlode, Firewall, and Ceruja. But instead of having to pick them all up at one at a time, you have to pick them up all at once, all on a set release. Yeah, it's, it's bad news bears, unfortunately. And I don't like that. But more Link monsters to progress the feel of it, that's the thing. The Link mechanic itself were what? A year into it now? Maybe half a year? Uh, we're, 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 give or, we're almost a year into it. But if you look at it, it was a matter of time until they, they started progressively making it more busted. Oh, th thank you, by the way, Konami. <laughs> Don't you guys love staples? No, it's almost a bit sad that the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! can't progress without some sort of broken effects. You know, Card 5 Vanguard recently did its quote-unquote reboot, but they're, they've created a standard and a uh, magic equivalent to modern format. Talked about this a hundred times already over on the Vanguard channel, but, you know, it's, I don't know. I like, I like broken things in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is literally the game of broken. I don't think I've seen any balance in Yu-Gi-Oh for the first time, except for this format, but reason why this format's doing so good is every deck has the same broken staples going for it. You know, if you can play 19 decks and have the potential to do well at a regional, you know, that's that's excellent. It's a lower scale number for YCS level, but you know, at the end of the day, it's fine. And that's one of the things that, like, if you extend the extra deck mechanic of uh, Link Summoning to a little bit more broken monsters like the Troy Mare, you know, the player base is gonna, their wallets are gonna suffer. Oh man. Somebody's gonna be like, well, Rob, you've never advocated that before. I'm, I'm, uh, I, I choose my battles. I, I just, it, it's, it feels bad, man. That's the best way to say it right now. Especially for all the people that, like, have barely been able to get a Borloader or a Firewall at the end of the day. I understand your pain, but, like, knowing that you're gonna, the ride never ends, literally. Like, you thought my, my outro YouTube thing was just... Uh, my close friends always constantly make the joke. They're like, the ride never ends. Well, it's it's true. It's it's all part of life. You know, you wake up every day, and you you go to work. And you're like, okay, you know, rinse, wash, and repeat every day. You know, a lot of these, a lot of these experiences... I'll tell you this. When I started this channel 9, 10 years ago, for those of you that are still veterans, you know, you've seen much of my behavior, a lot of my mentalities, a lot of things, the way I carry myself even, and a lot of these, it changes from year to year. You know, you get one year wiser, something changes in your life, you you learn, you grow in wisdom. You know, I, looking back at 2015, Robbie, I was an asshole, and I, I will not be the first to admit it, you know, but everybody in their own right grows up, and you know, you're talking to someone that's another year of wisdom under their belt doesn't make me any better than most people but if I can say something or have some sort of wisdom to benefit them that's good it's much like Yu-Gi-Oh no <laughs> that's my comparison actually for this video though though Yu-Gi-Oh continues to be more broken progress still has to be made you still have to wake up you still have to take that same ride through life every day you know, you yourself can say you can hit the fuck it button and just effectively, you know, exit out and just be like, no, nah, I don't want to go to work today. Fuck that. But there are always repercussions and things like that. And it's the same thing with releasing new Broken Link monsters like the Troy Mare. You know, progress. 
it has to be made, but you know, you gotta you gotta hit the oh shit button somewhere and be like, sorry, sorry, player base. You know, another thing that I'll, I'll briefly touch on this again. You know, like Konami doesn't set the card prices; they just set the rarity. It's those of us in the secondary market that have the card that wish to set the price for it, or what people are willing to pay for it. That's the thing. We as consumers are the ones setting the value amongst ourselves, especially in a secondary market economy like this. But people, people don't seem to agree with that mentality. So it's it's all Konami's fault. I tell you what, they're the ones that Firewall was twenty dollars last week. Now it's seventy five this week. I tell you what, fuck of them. How dare they? Yeah, like. Konami's the ones going in the secondary market buying up all the fucking firewall dragons so they can be $75. That's not how economics works. But the the sheep mentality is very much there. It's just... You learn anything later in life, learn to think for yourself. Don't be blinded by the judgment of others. Use the knowledge that other people tell you and the things that they say to formulate your own opinion. It's the best thing that I can tell you. And you can tell me I'm full of shit in my comment section. It's fine, but... <laughs> life. But that's all I've got for my rum ramblings today. Tell me how great the Troy Mayor... How, how prepared you are, matey, to spend your fucking booty, or looty, on all of these fresh new Link monsters. Ugh. Always prepared. Alright, guys, I'm out.